in one of Earth's highest and driest deserts. The most complex astronomical observatory ever is taking shape. Known as ALMA, it is a vast array of radio telescopes so advanced it has taken the world's top scientists and engineers to design and build it. ALMA will peer into hidden regions of space with unprecedented sharpness and sensitivity. Even now, with less than a third of its telescopes up and running, ALMA is the most powerful observatory of its kind, ready to begin probing the invisible universe. All ordinary matter in the universe gives off light. Some of it is in colors our eyes can see, the rest, from short wavelength gamma rays to long wavelength radio waves, requires special instruments to detect. ALMA, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, studies a barely explored part of the spectrum, opening up a new window on the universe. So just imagine you can only see green. So you see the trees and so on. So the world is defined by trees. All of a sudden, imagine you can see blue. Then you can see the ocean, you can see the sky. And you put the two together, that's more of the reality than if you only see in one color. And therefore, you see a much more complete picture of the universe. To fulfill astronomers' ambitious goals, ALMA must achieve what no telescope ever has. The ALMA telescope is an effort uh, that no one has ever attempted before. It's using scientists, engineers, and technical staff all around the world to build a telescope that will change the landscape of astronomy, literally. Teams in North America, Europe, and East Asia have worked toward this moment for decades, redefining technological possibilities. In every area, we've been pushing the limits of the technology. The antennas, the correlator that processes the data, the receivers, all of these pushed past previous boundaries in many dimensions. These revolutionary designs and technologies must function flawlessly in one of the most extreme environments on Earth. The ALMA site in Chile is higher than any other major ground-based observatory, putting ALMA above most of the water vapor that would otherwise disrupt the millimeter wavelength light. Here, monster trucks called transporters move the ALMA antennas into position on the Mars-like landscape of the Chaknantor Plateau. ALMA's radio telescopes work together to make images of space that get better and better as more of them join the array. The telescope has already delivered tantalizing views of space. Two galaxies collide, their stars and gas intermingling. The Hubble telescope sees bursts of star formation erupting where great clouds of gas and dust crash into one another. But areas that look dark to existing telescopes are ablaze with light, as seen by ALMA. You see there are these patches of dark regions which contain very dense gas and dust within which the next generation of stars may already be forming. So you can see ALMA is really unveiling what really cannot be seen with any other telescope. It's a brand new window into the universe. By 2013, the full array of 66 dishes will be complete. 
With early science operations underway, the telescope is beginning to unlock entire worlds of discovery. ALMA will provide astronomers of today and tomorrow with answers to our greatest mysteries. And countless new questions to drive the next great era in astronomy.